Hi guys, Monday the 19th of February 2024 and uh, just had a really big weekend in the garden getting lots and lots of stuff done and the videos are coming out um, and I'm kind of on top of my seed sowing and first planting sowings etc direct into the garden so what I want to do today is just have a really good tidy up outside um, there's a, a real messy corner at the bottom of the garden and I've got to put some pallets back onto the compost bays and I've actually got another pallet to start making an extra bay on the end so that'd be five bays we've got down the bottom and then what we're using as a temporary bay in the concrete wall so that'd be six bays um, I want to get some slug pots in in the beds that haven't got them all already because I'm really determined this year to get as many slug pots out there before I plant things out as I can um, and then there's bits of string hanging about from things from last year and there's all sorts of little jobs I want to do to get tidied up and try and really get on top of it because I've got a week off work this week but I've got a lot of stuff to do in the house as well this week and it's a nice day today a bit cool but nice and bright it isn't raining so I want to get some stuff done outside while the weather's good because later in the week it isn't so good it's going to rain Wednesday I think and it's going to get quite cold as well towards the end of the week I think we're down to a sort of freezing point towards the end of the week so in my opinion that's good because that is where we should be at this time of year we shouldn't be at 14 and 15 degrees while well, we have been because that is an unbalance in nature then things start to come out insects start to come out earlier and then we get a frost and it kills them that's not what we want so I'm going to do that so it might be a bit of a mix match video today the guys are working next door on the building site so there is quite a bit of noise there but what I'll do is try and play you a little bit of music here and there and um, I want your opinions on something as well I've got something that I'll need to sort out hopefully this summer so when they have a break next door I'll video that bit and get your opinions on it right let's get on
more subscribers said that dustbin of horse manure I've got that didn't rot down if I put a shovel or two of garden soil in there that would really help and it makes perfect sense get some soil bacteria in there some worms and what have you and they'll munch away on the horse manure so thanks Graham much appreciated I'm going to do that now So this pile of uh, soil here is made up of turf and grass and if you watch the uh, rule of 10 challenge video that I did over the weekend that's where I got that soil from and there's still quite a lot left but what I want to do is put I've got another pallet up by a shed but I want to put on the back here to make another bay so what I'm going to do is just pile this up a bit and then tidy up these hedge cuttings and stuff put these bags in the bin and just have a real good tidy up in this corner because it just looks a bit of a mess and unsightly and um, it is a garden after all and I want to try and make it look like a garden in the end eventually um, and not quite so scruffy if I can manage that
So that's a lot tidier. And I can get to the ash bin. The horse muck's got some soil in it. That can stay there now for a few months. And the plan eventually here is to have some proper compost bays with um, lift out slats between them and at the front to make turning the piles much easier. And a roof, a sloping roof, sloping this way with a gutter. And then this area here has been built, designed for an IBC container to go in there to collect all the rainwater. And I'll make it strong enough, the roof, so that I can stand on it to cut the hedge. Because at the moment it's a real pain. I've got a long extension hedge cutter, but it's so heavy when you've got it all together. Trying to get up there and cut it, it's really difficult. So we've still got some homemade compost to use and we've got all that soil, that's good stuff. So apart from it drying out a bit, because it's so wet down there, we're in good shape. Eventually the slabs will carry on around here so we've got a solid, solid path to work on. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. Right, next job. Compost depot made a couple of weeks ago. Still doing well. It, was, it did get up to about 61. It's down at 56, I think, now. So, yeah. It's cooking away and it's, it's dropped about six inches. So, happy days. So, I just want to tidy up this timber over here. Now the floorboards, I've got some to put back in this week, so I'm going to keep them accessible. And these big lumps of timber here, some of these are floor joists that I cut out of the house, and some were just lying around in the garden. But um, when I took, I took three chimneys out of the house, so when I'd removed the chimneys, the floor joists had been cut and what have you to go around the chimneys, so I had to replace them and put longer joists in. So um, I'm going to save these and they're going to be used on the upper plot at some point because we're going to terrace it, which will be a big project. and an upcoming video, I'm sure, at some point. But for now, I'm gonna put them over here. I never throw anything away, especially timber. And a lot of these floorboards will be left. I only need about another six or seven to go in. So what's left, because this is tongue and groove, although it is a little bit damaged, but what I'm going to do is rework it, tongue and groove it again on the table saw and build the chicken house out of it. So, it'll be good timber. It's nearly 100 years old. So it's done all the warping and moving that it's going to do. So if I uh, rework it, sand it down, put it back together and then we'll treat the outside of it That'll be good.
And I always try and put timber in piles that have some kind of sense. So length, so I've got the long boards here, medium boards there, and short boards there. And then when you're looking for a piece, you don't have to move everything to find what you're looking for. It doesn't always work. It does get messed up quite a lot. But I try. Proper pipe, it's got to be cut up and weighed in along with all the other bits I've got. Electrical wire and stuff. Now these, these are handy. The lady that lived here before us was elderly and they had a downstairs shower room for her that was sort of walk in, walk out with um, some sort of ease of use appliances and things like that. And this was the old walk in shower screen. So I'm going to take this hinge off probably, give it a clean up. And I've got two. And um, they're going to make a nice little clutch. So at some point in the future, we will keep chickens, just for some eggs. And we're thinking perhaps six birds, maybe up to ten, but start with six and maybe introduce some more later, obviously carefully because of territory disputes and things like that. But um, we're thinking this area here, with the view to making them an enclosure um, with some wooden posts, some uh, sort of strongish um, wire netting, not necessarily chicken wire, something a bit beefier than that, buried into the ground a foot or so, and some kind of protection on the top to stop birds of prey. And we're thinking from this tree, this, this um, Lelandi, coming out, say, 10 foot from the fence, and then back to this fence. So it's going to be about 10 foot by 10 foot. And then in there, we'll put the hen house that I've yet to make. Now, my understanding is that chickens are a woodland bird originally, so therefore, this little area because in the summer this is all um, in leaf, this elder. So they've got good shelter with the fence from the prevailing southwesterly wind. And they will get the morning sun as it comes up in the east over there. And then what we're thinking of doing is, once we've secured the garden a little bit more, is just letting them roam around on the garden and not the veg prop but the ornamental garden and the lawn and let them scratch about or maybe even make them a, a tractor run that we can move to different positions on the lawn so that's the plan so if really what do you guys think you know some of you keep chickens you've got a lot more experience than we have and the other thing is the shed that I sit in is just behind these Leland eyes so I've got power in there as well so in the winter months it won't be very difficult to rig up a little heater for their hen house so what I was going to do really was probably obviously the the cage set up with a door so that we can walk in make it high enough so that we can stand up in there to make it easy and um, put a couple of slabs down under the hen house and make it high enough so that they can go under there as a bit of shelter from rain and stuff and have the nesting boxes sticking through the side of the enclosure so that we don't actually have to go in there 
in the morning to collect the eggs um, and probably put one of the uh, automatic openers on their door daylight dawn dusk opener things so they can get in and out obviously make sure they've got food and water etc so as a rough plan what do you guys think it's 10 foot by 10 foot six to ten birds by the research I've done that's enough space but also let them free range around the garden obviously we tidy this area up so yeah let me know so I've got some more slug pots in this bed and that one I need to get some more yogurt pots and things to finish off so I think the plan this year is going to be brassicas in these two beds because uh, I grew potatoes in them last year and then I think we'll have onions in this bed because we grew brassicas in this last year and I think we'll put main crop potatoes along the fence and earlies and second earlies will be in the pots so I think that's a rough planting plan and these will be what they'll be these paddock collar beds probably do carrots in there again because it worked well and parsnips in that one did courgettes in the end one last year but I think I'm going to put those in pots this year because they just went absolutely mad and I'll do something else in there this year we'll have beans up there again and some more onions in the other pallet collar bed and I need to think about tomatoes as well Hmm. Might have to see how we get on with the buckets for the potatoes. Some of the main crop might go in there and I'll grow tomatoes along the fence again. So there we go guys, a bit more tidying up done, ready for the spring, for the sowing and growing season. And I do like to try, it just makes me feel better if it's tidy, you know what I mean? So let us know what you think about the chickens in that area. Um, probably really want mainly birds for eggs, but you know, birds for meat as well. I haven't got a problem with that. And um, yeah, let us know what your thoughts are. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Cheers.